wheels turning for a worthy cause. Mercy sakes alive, looks like we got us a convoy. <laughs> Delaware's Truck Convoy is happening on Saturday. The 29 mile ride honors the trucking industry and its unwavering support of Special Olympics athletes. Tractor trailers will be escorted through scenic Kent County. And this year is the convoy's 20th anniversary, and WBOC is a proud sponsor. Joining us via Zoom today is John Busby. He is the Director of Media Relations with Special Olympics Delaware. Hi there, how are you? Good afternoon. Hey, it's wonderful to be with you again. We always appreciate you having it on, and you nailed it. This is the 20th anniversary of this truck convoy, and we are very excited. It's sold out. We have more than 200 trucks coming out. Uh, there is no walk-up registration or drive-up registration, mm. I should say. So we yeah. want to make sure the truckers know that. But we do appreciate the more than 200 that are coming out. You know, this event started back in 2001 when a colonel in the Florida Police Department decided that uh, Special Olympics had done so much for their son that they wanted to make sure that there was a way that they could help contribute to the program in Florida. And yeah. then boom, all of a sudden it's all over the country. Yeah. So this is an event mm -hmm. that not only takes place in Delaware, it's all over the country. So tell us more about the meaning of this event. Well, you know, in Special Olympics Delaware, our athletes, and there's more than 4,000 of them, and they range in ages from two, I think our oldest athlete is 80-something who bowls and plays bocce with us. And they compete completely for free. There are no registration fees. They get free equipment to train with, free uniforms to wear. When they come to the events, they get free food. Some of our events, there's overnight stays, and that is free. And we are the only state in the country where that's the case. So there is absolutely no cost to any of those 4,000 people that participate in Special Olympics. And so when you have an event like this that has raised more than $700,000 in its history, that just gives you some idea of where that money goes. It stays mm -hmm. right here in the state of Delaware, and it supports those children and adults who are in our program who, if there was a fee attached to it, let's face it, the reality of it is not all of them would be able to be involved. And so that's the meaning of an event like this. And the fact that it exposes our trucking industry and the drivers and their families to the abilities of people with disabilities. And that's a big part of that because of the truckers schedules they often don't have the opportunity to coach our athletes because that's a twice a week weekly commitment for eight to 10 weeks, or they can't come to the summer games or the fall festival because they're on the road. So this event is geared to give them the opportunity to see and really experience what it means to contribute and participate in Special Olympics. Now, why is it that this event, John, means so much? Why is it so close to your heart? Well, you know, two things one because it did open up the opportunity to get the trucking industry and the truckers both the men and the women who are in those cabs you know making america what it is let's mm -hmm. face it the one thing that was consistent in COVID was the trucking industry but it, it does give them that chance to really look at and see our athletes who will be there cheering them on all right so give us the details where we can see it and when it is so it's going to be on Saturday. Uh, the trucks depart the state fairgrounds at 1030. So certainly if people want to come out to there and watch them leave that area, they then head south. They go through Harrington, and we appreciate all the support that city's given us over the years. And then they're going to take a right-hand turn on Whiteleysburg Road. And I'm sure the folks down in Kent and Sussex County know where that road is. It's a pretty significant road uh, that goes east to west. And then they turn right on Route 12 and they head back out up to Felton and then back down to the state fairgrounds. And so uh, just a, it's a neat route. It's 29 miles. It's police escorted. So in other words, the trucks don't have to stop at any of the intersections. Uh, the support of law enforcement, they jump up and they are able to get the trucks that go through there. Uh, one thing we do want to point out is last year we started the tradition of the trucks do not pull back into the state fair because many of them leave directly from this event and head out on the road. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want people to think, well, geez, if I'm back to the state fair by 1130, I'll see them all pull back in. That's not the case. So mm -hmm. if you want to see them pull out, that's great. They can do that around 1030. All right. Awesome. Uh, Director of Media Relations with Special Olympics, Delaware, John Busby, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you both for all your support.